In this video, this is pendula now question three. It's about Ama Newton's laws. In the description box, is a my links for other recordings in Wainzile for this. September 2018, question paper by KZN. It's physical sciences paper one. Now, question three, but you pay a two body system, two kg and three kg block. They are stacked on top of each other. A force of magnitude 40 newtons is applied to a 3 kg block at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal along a, a rough surface. Surface 1 is shown below. Now on surface 1, 40 newtons is applied with 3 kg. It's applied at an angle. A second, a second 2 kg block is placed on the rough upper surface, surface 2 of the, of the first block. Now 2 kg placed on top of 3 kg. But the two blocks are joined by a string of negligible mass running through a frictionless pulley. The kinetic frictional force between the 3 kg block and surface 1 is 2 newtons. Yes, is 2 newtons. Between surface 1 and 3 kg, we have a frictional force of 2 newtons and then whilst the kinetic frictional force between the 2 kg block and surface 2 is 1.2 so now we have a friction of 1,2 newtons let t be the tension in the strings connecting the two blocks as the 3 kg block accelerates to the right so in a question about Ama newton's laws once they mention the term acceleration, just know that Bakuluma was second law. If it's constant speed or constant velocity, it is Newton's first law, right? And then Lagu 3.1.1, hence, what is it define eh? Newton's second law of motion? Um, okay, the law states that when a non zero force acts on an object, then the object accelerates in the direction of the net force where the acceleration of the object is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Yes, so this definition, Lena, in fact, Newton's second law um, has to do with the Lagrange E acceleration. Yes. 3.1.2 draw a label free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the 3 kg block <coughs> now for that for the free body diagram <coughs> mta look explainer ama free body diagram ngale ndlela le ukuthi uma withdraw just check ama marks wakho ne check your marks if it's 5 marks it means you have a 5 ama vectors in this question for your free body diagram if it's three marks, you have three vectors. If it's two marks, you have two yama vectors. But for this case, that's. But for this question, that's not the case. Why ngobama vectors wa kona am more than five? Am more than five. So I I feel like this question, lana, baba ropa ma marks la. They should have given them, the total, or let me say the marks for this question it should be equal to or equivalent to the number of vectors so more than five now for the three kg block is funai free body diagram so the dot represents with three kg i'm styling all the simpler forces it's the normal force the gravitational force due to the three kg block and the gravitational force due to the 2 kg block the 2 kg block is clearly on top of the 3 kg block so the 2 kg is also pressing down on 3 kg so it means that now this vector we have to take it into consideration the applied force 40 newtons then Sibano 1.2 which is the frictional force experienced on the upper surface remember once a system here to start moving the 2 kg and the 3 kg are rubbing against each other so whatever friction 2 kg is feeling as well as with 3 kg will also feel the same 
amount of e frictional force so therefore hence you know 1.2 newtons as a frictional force for the 3 kg block as well then we have tension and the frictional force of 2 newtons between 3 kg and surface 1 3.1.3 uh, we have um, our vectors are more than five it's one two three four five six seven vectors it should have been a it's okay um, our marks for 3.1.2 it should have been seven not five not five not five it's unfair it's very unfair anyway now Lana go 3.1.3, but it's calculated a tension in the string. So this is a two body system. Two body system. This is a two body system. Body one, body two. In a two body system, it's normal or it's conventional to have the following two unknowns. In a two body system we have two unknowns the acceleration and the tension so in order to calculate the acceleration or the tension we have to set up a system of two equations and solve them simultaneously so this is what we are going to do much so set up uh, the first equation using the 3 kg block and taking to the right the direction to the right as positive it's important to go to get a direction it doesn't matter what the to to the right as negative or positive it's up to you now we are starting off with the 3 kg block now when setting up your equation you need to check where your 3 kg block or your 2 kg block is moving like in which plane is it moving is it moving vertical in the vertical plane or the horizontal plane the 3 kg block is moving along the horizontal plane meaning that when you set up your equation you have to consider only the forces acting on the horizontal plane in this case we have one two three and the fourth one which is the horizontal component for the applied force this one fx fx is the horizontal component for the applied force so we have four forces in total which are acting in the horizontal plane thus making the 3 kg block to move to the right so it means that the vertical forces are cancelling each other out that's why 3 kg young are moving upward but instead to move a horizontal so lana it's going to be f net equal to mass times acceleration right and, th and then we calculate the net force we just add up all the forces in the horizontal plane so it's minus 1.2 it's negative 1.2 moba or negative 1.2 is pointing to the left negative t as well as t is negative moba it's pointing to the left and minus 2 plus fx plus fx the fx is equal to 40 cos 60 degrees equal to 3 times acceleration bear in mind this acceleration is also a vector so this acceleration is a positive value because the 3 kg block is accelerating to the right and then the 2 kg yona is going to accelerate to the left now it's a positive value Ngoba, the block the 3 kg block is accelerating to the right yes so the acceleration is a vector now keep that in mind then we calculate the left hand side adding up all the like terms minus 1.2 minus 2 plus 40 cos 60 degrees this is equal 40 not 4 40 equal to 16.8 16 positive 16.8 this is our answer the minus t has no like term equal to 3 times acceleration let's call this equation 
one then we do the same for the second block um, then we do the same for the second block or two kg block so I send the saw um, for the two kg block okay for the two kg block I also need the f the, the free body diagram for the two kg block so that is was net uh, to set up our second equation so I've prepared a sketch for the free body diagram for the 2 kg block now the 2 kg block has four vectors the weight the normal force the frictional force as well as the tension the tension is to the right over the 2 kg block is being dragged to the left and then the frictional force is 1.2 to the right the normal force up force of gravity down so f net is equal to mass times acceleration we only consider the horizontal forces because of the 2 kg block is moving in the horizontal plane so the tension is negative and then the frictional force is 1.2 it's plus 1.2 equal to equal to equal to 2 times acceleration negative acceleration remember we chose to the right to be positive so the 2 kg is moving to the left therefore the, the friction is going to be a plus 1.2 and then the tension is going to be a negative and then the acceleration is also going to be a negative so therefore Lana we have Lana we are going to have um, o minus T plus 1 comma 2 equal to negative 2a all right and then nine things are ends for this equation for this particular equation in things are ends I'm going to make T the subject of the formula it ends out T the subject of the formula so basically in thing ends healing touch this minus 2 I transpose that to the left your figure as a positive 2a the t to the right a figure as a positive t therefore let us call this equation number two remember we had equation one from the 3 kg block then we solve simultaneously we substitute the equation substitute equation two into equation one equation two into one so it's 16 comma eight minus where does t in a substitute are this 2a plus one comma two equal to 3a so it's 16 comma eight minus 2a minus one comma two equal to 3a <clears throat> it's just basic algebra nothing special there's nothing special about this thing one sixteen comma eight minus one comma two equal to fifteen point sixteen fifteen point fifteen point sixty not sixteen minus two a equal to three a fifteen comma six zero is equal to five a when I'm transpose that this two a of figure will positive two a 2a plus 3a is 5a dividing both sides by 5 my acceleration is 3 comma 1 2 meters per second squared equal to acceleration equal to acceleration therefore we do what gamma we take the acceleration and ac in substitute the equation 2 or equation 1 but I'm going to substitute equation 2 so where there's a you figure the 3 comma 1 2 plus 1 comma 2 equal to T therefore it's going to be 2 open bracket answer plus 1 comma 2 this is equal to 7 comma 4 4 so therefore our tension is equal to 7,44 newtons. This is our answer for 3.1.3.
Now, question three way to Pelela Lana, guys. Um, I hope you told us some value. I hope we enjoy it. Um, now we enjoy it. This video, please leave a like. Now, of look, subscribe. And now we're new to this channel. Now, of look, share and bang and back as well. Liking and liking, sharing, and subscribing that's the only way to support um, this channel for now. <laughs> In the description box is a tola my links for other recordings and wainzilo for this question paper. So guys for now I'll spawn on the next video. Bye bye.